good morning my youtube viewers i have a great video for you today now we're going to talk about i know it, this is a tough topic to talk about <clears throat> we're going to talk about sin is still sin no matter if it's over a thousand years ago or today so what was sin 100 years ago will still be sin 1,000 years from now. Why? Because God never changes. Are you with me? God never changes. Why? Because God is already perfect. He doesn't need to change. He doesn't need to improve in himself upon because he's already perfect. He knows all. He has all knowledge and all power. So the first one I'm gonna start with is same-sex marriage. Okay. Now men can do whatever they want and marry whoever they want that's their choices i understand that but you have to remember men did not create themselves they were created by god okay now whatever was wrong two thousand years ago we can't say it's right right now because if it if it always has been wrong we can't say it's right right now because we also had people 2,000 years ago who wanted to do whatever they wanted to do. Now, where are these people now? They are dead. So men can come up with whatever they want to. They want to marry another man. If they want to marry another animal, but guess what? All of them are going to have to die and one day they're going to have to face God. Now, what does the word of God says about same-sex marriage? Okay, let's see what the word of God says. In Leviticus 20, it says, If a man has sexual relationship with a man and has one, ha as one does with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable. They are to be put to death. Their blood will be on their hands. Now this is coming from the word of God. It, it's been written for a long time. And today we are in 2017. The word of God prohibit this kind of behavior. Not me. The word of God. And I am with God. I believe that God is right. Now the reason why... It is not normal for a man to marry another man to have a family is because a man cannot procreate. Men does not have the uh, ovaries. Man has a different kind of reproductive system as a woman. There's a reason why a male and a female is the perfect way so that we can create family in the earth anyway let's move on to another topic what is another sin if you are having sex and you are not married it's not called dating it's called fornication in god's world now there's one thing people have to remember that the world is governed by satan himself who is the prince of the power of the air if you look in Ephesians chapter 2, it talks about that. People are doing a lot of things. They don't know where to get the idea from, but the idea comes from Satan. So sex before marriage is not just dating. It's fornication in the eyes of God. Now, what does God say about fornication? Let's see. So sleeping with another woman is fornication. It is not dating. Let's see what the Bible says about fornication. 
in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, chapter 7, verse 2 says, Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Okay, husband, not just somebody you dating and sleeping around with. Husband. Let's move on. 1 Corinthians 6 says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. Effeminate is uh, men who trying to act like women. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you are washed, you are sanctified, you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. So people who are fornicating, who are having sex before marriage, they will not inherit the kingdom of God. In Hebrew 13 verse 3 says, Marriage is honorable in all. And the bed is undefiled. But whoremongers, whoremongers are men that are sleeping around with women. So they call them the whore or the women and the mongers are the people sleeping around with them. They call them whoremongers. And adulterers, God will judge. So adulterers are people who are, you know, who are married and they're having sex outside, outside of their marriage. They will not the, it is not honorable in the sight of God but marriage is marriage is not between the man and the man it's a union between a man and a woman so another sin that is going around the world is gossips people might look at gossip very lightly but gossip is a big thing people don't know that so gossip destroys A lot of family. Gossip kills. So gossip does a lot of things to people. It separates close friends. It is not a good thing to follow. The tongue can cause a lot of problem. Because I know some people that I work with every time you do something they're just waiting for an opportunity to run to the office to tell the boss what you're doing so that they can look good you can look bad so gossip is a bad thing that's why it should be getting out of the church it should not stay in the church because your tongue can cause a lot of destructions in people's lives that's a big thing too it is not just fornication it's not just homosexuality also gossiping is a big sin what does the Bible say about it? It says, Unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful to build others according to their deeds, that it may benefit those to listen. Exodus 23, 1, God gave a commandment. Do not spread false reports. Do not help a guilty person by being a malicious witness. So when you, you spread bad news, you gossiping, there's a commandment against that too. There's a punishment for that. Let's move on. People who hate people. Hatred. He who says that he is in the light, hate his brother, is in darkness until now. So, like I said again, it's not just about fornication or murder. But when you hate somebody in your heart, you, are, you already become a murderer. So, you are not in the light. You are in darkness if you hate your brother, if you hate your enemies, if you hate your whoever. So, ask God to help you. So in Matthew 6, it says, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So when you hate somebody, you you absolutely you don't, you don't forgive them. You definitely hate them if you don't forgive them. So God said, I won't forgive you either if you don't forgive them. Matthew 6. Let's move on. Now we're going to talk about 
uh, modest the way people should dress correctly we live in in the days where everybody's really um dressing really immodestly they're really showing everything and they think it's it's cool you know some people tell them to if they got it flaunt it if they got the body why not show it so they being deceived and being led in the wrong route in the wrong path and that's the whole plan of the enemy now this is what i call modest this is how people should dress this is what you call modest these three beautiful ladies here this is what i call modest they don't show anything they have nothing to sell they have nothing for sale you can see their hands only you don't see anything showing because everything is not for sale it's for their husband okay so we live in the last days where people want you to show everything that's a plan from the devil you don't have to show everything now the stuff that people wear that's the stuff that when you go in to take a shower in your own house they wear it in the streets now the thing that you're supposed to be going to bed with this is what i call modest now first timothy 2 9 says in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame facedness and sobriety not with boarded hair or gold or pearl or costly array just very simple not to show off so before this is how they used to dress the young kids look at this young look at these young girls they're so beautiful they don't have to be showing their skin they don't have to show in everything but they cover up now these days we don't have um the parents dressing their kids like this anymore they're showing everything they say oh they're just kids you're yeah, right okay now this is what i would call the one to the both of these i don't think i call them modest also because they're showing too much legs you're not selling so again first timothy say in like matter also that women adorn themselves with modest apparel that's how you should appear modest you're not selling now i have a picture here this is not modest okay she's showing too much legs you're not for sale she's showing too much legs here this is not for sale I had the modest pic the other picture here for some reason it's not showing because I had a comparison with uh, uh, it's not showing guys let me see if I can reduce this one but the other one is not showing but anyway I had a comparison with the one where the lady is Let's see if I can get up sorry guys but anyway this is not modest now this is what they used to wear in the 1900s as a bikini okay that's what they used to wear where when they were going to the beach just to cover themselves up not to show everything well you can tell in our days is totally different now the devil has a plan so exactly and again first timothy said in like matter also that women adorn themselves with in what modest apparel now in the 1920s if you were going to the beach there's some offices that is measure how high your your skirt or whatever you wear is uh, uh, from above your knee now this lady here was considered as a slut in the 1920s so i don't even have to tell you what we have today what they would consider of you today the way our young ladies are dressing there you go go figure so this is how the ladies used to wear their bathing suit in the 1920s very simple so this is enough for the uh, presentation so remember sin is still sin what was sin 100 years ago will still be sin 1000 years from now god never changes so don't let people change you and try to tell you it's okay to do this no it's not okay the bible said do not be deceived neither fornicators nor adulterers nor homosexuals nor sodomites will inherit the kingdom of god first Corinthians 6 9 and 10 
Don't let people deceive you. Follow the word of God. There's a reason why the God left his word for us. So that we wouldn't be deceived. So sin is still sin no matter if it's a thousand years ago or today. So make sure you follow God's word because one day you're going to die. And you're going to have to give account and how, of how you live your life. God bless. See you next time for the next video. And don't forget to like my video. And don't forget to subscribe. Share it with another friend. Okay, God bless.